We will now start with the first exercise of the squat exercise progression, the toe touch squat. Stand in front of the core board with towel rolls under your heels to give you assistance with the squat. As you progress, the towel rolls may be diminished in height. Have a squat stance with feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Position the feet approximately half of your foot length away from the core board. Reach to the ceiling, trying to make your body as tall as possible while hollowing the abdominals. Bend forward, place your hands on the edge of the core board, keeping your knees as straight as possible. Let your spine comfortably round and press on the core board hard enough to make it tilt in your direction. This engages the abdominal. While maintaining constant pressure or enough to keep the core board tilted forward, go into a squat position as deep as possible, splitting your knees wide enough so that they do not touch your elbows. Make the spine as tall as possible while keeping the feet flat and weight on your heels. Keep the board tilted forward the entire time. Remove the hands from the board, reach overhead as much as possible without changing the weight on the heels and maintain a tall spine. Return to the standing position and relax the arms. The next exercise for the squat exercise progression will be the squat reach. This exercise will begin in the squat position. Move your hands to the outer edges of the board, twist and rotate the board by pressing down and turning it to the left. Keep your weight on your heels, therefore you will press into the board using your abdominals, not through shifting your body weight, but actually applying the pressure with your abs. Lift your left hand back and upward looking over your shoulder and rotating your shoulders as far as possible without losing the twist that you produced on the board. Repeat the same movement with the opposite side. This concludes our second exercise. We will now begin with the third exercise of the squat exercise progression, the rock and reach. Rock backward into a posterior rock position with the buttocks on the heels, chest toward thighs, allowing the arms to stretch and remaining placement on the core board. If needed, apply a pillow or cushion between the heels and buttocks for comfort. Twist or rotate the board as far as possible without changing your body position. This should be done by pushing with the right arm and pulling with the left forearm. Maintain a solid and stable core as the rotation takes place via the arm. Roll the palm of the right or elongated arm toward the ceiling in a supinated position while maintaining the twist of the board with the opposite arm. Repeat with the opposite side. Again, maintain a stable and solid core as the rotation takes place via the arms. This concludes our third exercise, of the squat exercise progression.